We've been doing shows for the tourism department in Clarksville for a number of years. The tourism department has built more of a ongoing uh, representation for the state of Tennessee, just north of Nashville. We will have a show here uh, at the time of this taping tonight uh, at Austin Peay University. We are, we are grateful to be here. This is a great community, and it's a growing interest in tourism in, uh, in this part of the state. Being here in Clarksville, Tennessee, it's, uh, it's got an interesting history because, of course, the military base is here, the 101st. Of course, with the 101st here, it's like it's always been anchored by the Army. A lot of great folks here. So I'm, uh, I'm pleased to be back in Clarksville. It's been my joke on stage that Clarksville's trying to put a four star on the Tennessee flag. Of course, the three stars representing East, Middle, and West Tennessee. So I'm, I'm interested in how Clarksville, as it begins to grow, will achieve that goal, getting one more star on the Tennessee flag. The adoration for our military um, is, is really great to see. I wear a bracelet of a soldier who was um, MIA in Vietnam, and we're very close to that era because it's my age. Uh, we didn't serve in Vietnam because I had children of an early age, and during the draft, they were given a number, and my number never came up before the war ended. Uh, so proudly, we represent the Vietnam veterans as well as the Korean veterans and all wars. This event here in Clarksville, it coincides with uh, the uh, honoring of the Vietnam veterans, and a lot of them are here, and they will be marching in with the parade today. So it's, it's really cool to, to meet a lot of them. They're so very proud uh, that they survived that war. We lost an awful lot uh, in the Vietnam War. Um, I've, I started working for the USO when I was like a teenager. Um, so I've always worked for the military. I had great respect for the military. And since I've moved to Nashville, Tennessee, which was in 1979, we've been here ever since and representing, of course, the Nashville community in all of the USO tours, domestic and foreign, as we tour. I'm also the national ambassador for HelpingAHero.org, which is an organization based in Houston. But in the last uh, seven years, we've given 100 homes in 22 states to wounded warriors. So that's kind of been the emphasis of what I've done the last 15 or 20 years. In, a, in conjunction with our USO tours, we also take care of the wounded warriors who come home. And it's, uh, you know, it's very heartfelt. We, uh, we really appreciate the challenge that they have. I think it's just kind of a growing respect. You know, you, uh, you first meet a soldier, uh, you know, and you kind of talk a little bit about, or brief, like where are you going or where have you been, and then understand about uh, the commitment, the sacrifice. Because I work with wounded warriors, there's many stories about how they got hurt. And a lot of people kind of avoid that subject because they don't want to either be embarrassed by asking or have the soldier be sensitive about his wounds. But to tell you the truth, most of them want to talk about it. Because the more they talk about it, the more it's healing for them. When I tell people that we're coming to support the military, the whole city of Clarksville, uh, represents the military and supports them. And so it's always a very positive um, exchange with someone. And I'll tell you, I, I say at least 50 or 60 percent of people that I tell that, they have a connection to this base here, the 101st. So it's a great exchange when I tell people what I'm doing here. You know, I'm sure um, that these parades uh, will continue in Clarksville on an annual basis. And uh, man, I'm coming. Hey, you like parades? Yeah.